we can artificially create our own stimulus response to positive feelings. So whether they're excitement, enthusiasm, happiness, it doesn't have to be accidental. We can do very intentional things that will get us into this state. How do I mean? Well, if you think of something that's really exciting or really relaxing or really joyous and you do something unique, very unique, at the very point, then all you have to do is that again and you'll be back there. So this can be pulling your ear or pushing your thumb and forefinger together or anything that's unique that you wouldn't normally do. If in the past you'd got anxious, you'd got fearful, you'd got nervous, what would be something good instead? Now, there's two ways you can take it. You could talk about being relaxed would be one. So you could, you could go to a time when you felt really relaxed, really calm. Another way would be to change the emotion slightly. So for example, anxiety and excitement are very closely linked in our neurology. But I think what would be a great one would be calmness. What I want you to do, if I was to imagine a time I was really relaxed, really calm, what I'd do is go back in my mind to that time. Maybe I'd close my eyes or open them as I felt most comfortable. And I would imagine them and I would get the feelings associated with this. And I would paint the pictures and I would say what I was saying to myself and I'd hear all the sounds that were going on around me in that moment. And as it gets to the very peak, as I breathe like I'd breathe and really get into it, I would do something unique. So this could be the thumb and forefinger together at the very peak as I feel it. And the second I started to feel those feelings drop away, I would let go. Now I do have a guided audio of this on my free program, so please check that out as well. So just very quickly, go back in your mind, close your eyes or open if you feel comfortable, to a time when you felt very, very calm. And see what you see, hear what you hear, feel what you felt. And just go back in your mind to that time. And just see it, feel it, hear it. Breathe like you'd breathe, say what you were saying to yourself, make those pictures really bright, really vivid, and the sounds make them really loud. And then as it gets to the very peak of the experience, just push your thumb and forefinger together until you're feeling the feeling start to drop away and then you just release. Now, some people obviously visualize better, so they'll have big vivid pictures. Some people it's more the feelings, some people it's more the sounds, or some people it's more what they were saying to themselves. Um, but try and get the biggest picture you can. Now some people, and you'll see this, go in very quickly and out. Other people, it takes you a long time to get there. So, you know, I'm a bit limited here because I'm talking to a whole range of people. Obviously with clients, it's a lot easy uh, for me to see when they're there and when they're not. And you will often notice me do this when I notice someone in a great state, I'll actually touch their knee or do something. That's what I'm doing. I'm conditioning that position. I'm anchoring that spot. So just go back again in your mind to that time when you felt really calm. See what you see, hear what you feel, twice as bright, twice as vivid, and just push your thumb and forefinger together at the very peak. And just keep doing that. Now you can think of the same uh, event, just make the pictures brighter and the feeling stronger and really ramp it up. Or you could think of lots of different events. So making the pictures brighter and the feeling stronger and breathing how you'd breathe. So it doesn't really matter what you do. The only thing I would say is maybe don't do two opposing emotions. So for example, excitement and relaxation, they're two very different ways of being. One's very up, one's very down. The best states are actually naturally occurring ones. Some people struggle to remember a specific time or get really into it. So next time you're in a really calm, relaxed state, just do it and condition it. And then you've built up this army really, really powerfully and really strong. And then next time you're confronted with that thing you're scared of, probably it's a great, it will certainly lessen the effects. You just do this and it's like the two armies coming together. Now, the thing to remember is keep building it up. The more times you're battling the anxiety with it, the more it will get reduced. So just remember, as often as possible, top it up. Whenever you're relaxed, top it up, and it will become stronger and stronger and stronger. And actually, sometimes, if this is powerful enough, it can actually completely, on its own, take out the thing you're fearful of. Although, as a general rule, I'd recommend it in combination with some of the other processes. Now, the cleaner the state can be, and what I mean by that is um, the, the less uh, filtered it is. So if you go, 
oh yeah, I'll go back to that time when I was on the beach. But then, you know, I had an argument and after that and I forgot. No, it's not going to be a pure state. So the, the, the more perfect the state can be in your mind, the more you can just take a snapshot of the ideal bit, the better, the stronger, the more powerful it will be. As I said before, I do have a guided audio of this process that you can keep doing and keep replaying as many times as you want. It is available for free, so please check that out also. Keep practicing it. Let me know how it goes. And of course, as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, I'm Christopher Paul Jones.